Hey guys, Matt, the uh, Midnight Farmer. Um, I'm going to do a late night, well, not a late night video. It's like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Um, got to use my flash to see where I'm walking. Um, it's a, a plant that people, uh, they really can't seem to keep in stock when, uh, when I have it. And I just want to show people, you know, an easy way to propagate it. Um, it's not any kind of a trademark plant. You can make as many of them as you want. Sell them yourself. You know, plant them. Um, point being is it's 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 not one of these plants you've got to go out and buy a whole lot of. If you have one, you know, you can turn it into many pretty quick. So I thought I'd show you, you know, what I do and, uh, you know, how I go about, about making more. So give me just a minute and I'll pause this and I'll get my stuff set up out here and, uh, you know, ignore the traffic. You know, again, I'm on Highway 70. So, uh, but I'll get, get everything set up here and uh, I'll bring you back in just a second. All right, so here we go. This is the plant in question. It's, uh, or not in question, but of, uh, you know, subject matter today. It's a, a purple queen, purple king, purple fingers, um, wandering Jew. It's got many, many, many different names. Um, but this is one of my mama plants. I call anything that, that I take cuttings from, you know, my mama plants. Now, if we're taking several cuttings off of this today, I, this is the second time I've done this video, and I ran out of memory earlier. So I've already got some, you know, potted up over here, but I'll show you. Yeah, I just used one of these 12 cell trays. Those two have big holes in them, so I left them empty, but I just filled it up with, you know, just uh, a mix of compost and some uh, just clay from the yard from where I've been digging gardens. Um, they don't need any specific kind of soil. They're, uh, they're pretty much growing just about anything. They don't need, you know, tons of water. It's a succulent, so it keeps, you know, a lot of water in its in its leaves and its stems. So all I did is I just went through and you know filled up each cell with uh, with some soil mix. I've still got this one open here so I can show you. Um, but again, you know, look at the different sizes of these. You know, I've got longer ones, thicker ones, you know, little small ones. I'll actually pull this one out to give you an idea of just uh, well, this I think is the smallest one here. You see how small that is? That will root. I like the bigger ones because they uh, you know, they get, well, larger faster, and, uh, you know, they're quicker, quicker to market that way. But there's really nothing to it. And just get your, uh, your handy-dandy pruners or shears, find you uh, a good one to clip off of. I'm going to go down a long ways on this one. Focus here. Okay, it's actually... The, uh, the the sap that comes out of it, the uh, the liquid, is a lot like aloe vera and kind of the way it feels and it, its sliminess. So I'm just going to take that one there, going to clip it a few times. Now I'll clip it, maybe uh, we'll go about right here. It'll root out of any part of the plant, but I like to keep a, a leaf node, a leaf joint, because that's where, in almost any plant, that's where the uh, the most of the, the rooting hormone is actually concentrated. So I'm doing this one-handed. I apologize, guys. But I just, you know, pull the leaf off. So I've got a, uh, you know, this could technically be two plants. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. This one won't be at the leaf joint, but it'll still have some of the, uh, and of course you can do this with your finger too. But it'll still have a lot of rooting hormone there. But... Now, when you're rooting a plant, you know, a lot of people just oh, cram it in the soil. Don't do that. Um, the reason a lot of people fail when they're trying to root something is because they do just that. You know, they just poke it right down in there. Um, this isn't a hollow plant, meaning with a, you know, a hollow stem. So, you know, you probably could just push it down in there and you might have, you know, a little bit of luck. You might have a lot of luck. But uh, I'd just rather not take the chance. So... Poke a hole down with your finger, easy peasy. Poke it in there. You know, kind of pat the soil back down, tamp it down around it, and it won't take long at all before roots start coming out. Now, don't you know be pulling it out and checking it because that's just going to screw it up. But you know, realistically, in a week, I mean, if you want to pop this out and transfer it to something else, you can. Um, like I said, I got some little ones here, some big ones. And I can poke, you know, several into one little spot. 
I'm not going to. I'm going to put these separately in cups because I've already got this one filled out. I'd already cut these for the other video. So that's why I already have them in here because I didn't want to just leave them laying around. So I had to kind of skip ahead a little bit. But I did leave, you know, that one open spot because I had run out of what I had, had cut off already. But one like this, you know, I'll just peel the uh, that outside leaf off again. And, and that, I mean, that's all you need right there. And uh, again, you could even pinch this off. This, uh, this stem coming out here. See the goopiness? Like I said it's, it's a lot like aloe. Um, but back to the point of just cramming it in the ground. Or cramming it in, in soil. Water is different because, you know, it's not, uh, it's not necessarily damaging the plant when you put it in there. But if you have something with a more, more hollow stem, that uh, you can uh, think of it like you're plumbing in your house. If you just cram this down in there, yeah, it's going to display some dirt as it goes down and dirt's going to be around it. But you're also getting a lot of dirt, you know, up inside of it. So basically, you're, you're clogging the plumbing of the plant. The plant needs those cells where they're at and not clogged up to be able to uh, continue to process water, pull nutrients, and that kind of stuff out of the ground. If you cram it in there, then, uh, you know, you can damage a lot of that. And, uh, like I said, you can, you can gum up the plumbing on it. So, I mean, that's literally how easy it is, though. I mean, I just... Off of this one plant, I just got, you know, there's uh, 10 in there, so 11, 12, you know, 13, could potentially be 14, and there's still many more I can go in here and pull off, and this plant's just going to keep getting bigger and bushier the more I do it. So, uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, um, you know, give me a like, give me a subscribe if, uh, if it helps you at all, and, uh, you know, I try to be putting out videos more often, I hate that I haven't been putting them out so, as often as I was there for a little while. It's just things have been kind of hectic here at the house, and you know, some of you know I take care of my dad, and uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's not him. It's just things, you know, happen, life happened. So, you know, I've got to uh, take care of those things first. So videos is literally the last thing, you know, that I deal with. It's getting plants sold, you know, taking care of him, taking care of the yard, taking care of the house, that kind of stuff out here. So, uh, so making videos is the, uh, the, the low thing on my totem pole. But I thought this would be a quick, easy one. Not too hard to follow, and uh, and you guys might enjoy it since it's a it's a pretty popular plant, or at least it is with what I sell. So, anyways, guys, take care. If you like, uh, you know, click the like button. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm almost at 50 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. Um, so uh, I appreciate everybody that watches and uh, and has liked and has subscribed. You know, and leave me a comment again. I like talking to people through this thing. But anyways, take care. I'm going back in the house, and I'll see you guys in the next video.